Hello, and welcome to the next installment of Killer Game Shit. I'm your host, Killer Calamity, and on today's episode, we will be looking at the Mount Gordo Ghost, and I will be explaining a little bit about how that works from a programmer's standpoint. Alright, if you look, you can see that we've got it frozen here, so it can't go away no matter how close we get. First impressions, you can look at it and you see it's a, a flat alpha texture, which is a, like an invisible background texture. And you see some texture swirling around it there. That's just a mesh. It's in a circle, uh, dual layered inside and outside. Little wispy things. It spins around in a circle um, with her. It's probably a link set. Two, you know, two prims. See how that's flat? It's actually kind of cheesy. I would have done it in 3D and done a ghostly image. But you know, with all the stuff in this game, you know, they got to save resources. And as you can see, there's nothing there. No other prims. So that means that the, the rock itself actually changes the texture where it says jock when it, it's a timed event and uh, it changes, but it's also a reser, you know, at 3 a.m. or at, I think it's 11 a.m. or something like that, it appears and then it'll stay there. You see, I've got it to where it's held. We can fast forward it, but uh, it just reses it out and it's like a reverse, uh, reverse reser with a sensor. If you get within a certain amount of feet of it, she disappears, you know. You can still read where it says jock, you know. If you get too close to it, it goes away. It senses when you get close to it. And uh, that just about wraps it up for this episode here. I would like to take this time to thank everyone for tuning in. And if uh, this video has been helpful to you, or if you like this video, make sure that you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you on the next Killer game shit.